TDA 72924 Today we're gonna check how much power this uh, little amplifier here can do before clipping at 8 ohms load <clears throat> you can get this from aliexpress from about 2 pound 50 to 3 pound each plus shipping <clears throat> i already hook up the amplifier here we have our symmetrical split power supply here it's set to set to about 40.8 volts it's rail so we have about 81.5 something there there's a rectifier diode there so and a filter capacitor so you can use an AC there if you if needed this a DC so <coughs> uh, this amplifier can do 50 watts watts continuous RMS it can do 100 watts RMS at 8 ohms but at 1 second only with my stuff where I will not be able to it's pretty hard will be pretty hard for me to catch that so, so what we're going to we're just going to measure the our output of the R of the amplifier RMS before it goes to clipping. So it says the power output 50 watts with 0.01 percent THD. So we have our signal gen here, it's set to 1 kilohertz. We have our scope here to monitor the sine wave and we have the resistor here, 8 ohms. Our power supply is set to 230 volts input. We have a 1.5 ampere current limit there. now to increase the output that's clipping it clip clip up around it's clipping at around 60 volts so I'm going to just back it down a little bit and 
क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लिप So that's about 58.4 without clipping. There's no clipping at the top, and there's no clipping at the bottom. 58.4 volts. Okay, so let's convert 58.4 volts to RMS. 58.4 divided 2.828. So that's about 53.3 watts RMS into 8 ohms load. By the way, I got a fan there. Got a fan here. Without the fan, the amplifier is making too much heat on this. Saying it's very hot to the touch. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you next time.